Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about a sad incident that occurred back in 2015. As you can see, I'll try to typically upload a video on breaking news, something that occurred a while ago with potentially the newest updates, and something that I may want to give some light into. So we'll see how this goes and uh, see if it changes as well. If you also have anything you'd like me to cover, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section uh, below. According to several articles, this boxing fight took place in October 17, 2015 and involved boxers Pritchard Cullen and Tara Williams. Pritchard Cullen was an undefeated boxer with 16 total wins, 13 of which were knockouts. Pritchard was already taking the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and beginning to sweep the American regional scenes. However, throughout the fight, Pritchard was repeatedly punched in the back of the head, which for those of you who are unaware, is the league one boxing. However, the referee and the ringside dog during the scene allowed Pritchard to continue fighting despite Pritchard's complaining of pain and dizziness throughout the match. Pritchard's team thankfully stopped the fight after the ninth round due to believing it was too much, which may have also saved Pritchard's life. Unfortunately, after the match, Pritchard began to vomit and was taken to the hospital where he was diagnosed with brain bleeding sleeping into a coma for 221 days. Since waking up from his coma, Pritchard has been in and out of the hospital and received ongoing care with steady but slow progress in recovering. Pritchard also receives ongoing care from his family, especially his mother, and is now using a motorized wheelchair to move and a specialized computer for communication. His mother also recently shared a video of Pritchard celebrating his 31st birthday, where he was also given a signed boxing glove from Puerto Rican reggaeton legend Daddy Yankee. Following the incident, a $50 million lawsuit was also brought forward by Pritchard Collins' parents against Headbangers Boxing, the Bella Entertainment, and the referees and ringside doctors' oversight. However, there has not been much mention of progress, nor progress since initially being brought forward in 2017. Pritchard's opponent, Terrell Williams, has received tremendous criticism from many people who were disgusted at his behavior during the match, especially by Pritchard's family. During a 2018 interview, Williams was quoted as saying, quote, I pray for Pritchard every day. That's never going to change. I wish him nothing but peace and health. No one wants what happened to Pritchard to happen to anybody. All boxers are brothers. I would never intentionally harm someone like that. But there has been a lot of malicious stuff that is said about me, especially from the Colin family. If that is how they're going to cope with it and it helps them heal, then that's what it is. End quote. My thoughts on the matter are that this was a very unfortunate incident that should have been avoided as soon as the first punch was given to the back of Pritchard's head. That should have immediately been a warning to Williams and ended in a disqualification after the second punch. I believe that aside from Williams, who obviously knew what he was doing, the referee was largely to blame for not stopping the match on time. Additionally, the ringside doctor should have also taken Pritchard's complaint more seriously. Nonetheless, I wish Pritchard a fast and healthy recovery. I also wish his family the best and thank him for sticking with Pritchard as their ongoing efforts will surely help Pritchard. I will also add some social media links in the description if you'd like to obtain further information or watch a brief video of the incident.